Okay, so we all wanna level up our filmmaking, right? We wanna improve our skills to make a leap to that next level of filmmaking. If you wanna level up your films, the fastest way to do that is to level up the team that you make films with by collaborating with people more experienced than yourself. Now, I'm not saying don't improve your own skills, you should always be doing that, but mathematically, Filmmaking is a collaborative medium. You're working with a ton of different people, and no matter how much you just improve your own skills, these cumulative skills of everybody around you is going to make a bigger impact on the quality of the final film. So to demonstrate this in action, I'll show you the three biggest level ups in my own filmmaking career and talk about who behind the scenes was responsible for such a big level up in quality. Okay, buckle up. We're doing Standard Story Co's first flashback. <laughs> Back in middle school and high school, I was making short films all the time. After making a lot of pretty crappy short films that looked like this and mainly doing it for fun, my friends Chris and Kevin and I decided to level up and go big with one big horror short film for our senior year of high school. This was the first time that we didn't cast the film entirely with just people in our tiny friend group. We reached out to people from high school that were a better fit for the characters we were casting and that had some experience with drama class or being in front of the camera. It was also the first time that my producer friends Chris and Kevin and I worked together to raise a budget and end up getting much more money to make the film with. We made sure to always have an extra set of hands on set available to hold the boom mic, so for the first time we got decent audio. And you can't have a horror short film without a great horror score, and this was the first time that we reached out to a musician that we knew and convinced him to do an original score for the short film. So just by reaching out to more people, being more collaborative with more people, I was able to do my first level up as a filmmaker. And then just a few short years later, I had my next big level up, and that was with my first feature film, That Is Bad. And the reason the quality of the filmmaking leveled up was because I worked with my first professional director of photography, Neil Grokmal. Up until this point, young 20-year-old Kent had never worked with a professional crew or cast member on one of my own short films. I know that if I had tried to film the movie myself, compared to what we ended up getting, it would have looked like absolute, like... Like, what's worse than dog shit? It would've looked like that. It would've looked like the shit from the fly that ate the dog shit. So the level of quality and attention to detail that Neil brought to the set was absolutely invaluable, and I think his professionalism trickled down to the rest of us on set too. I also leveled up my storytelling by giving my script to my screenwriting professor at the time, who was a professional screenwriter in the WGA, and she tore me a new with the script, but it made what I was shooting that much better. And so again, another way to level up the film. Now I had used friends as crew members in films before Bad is Bad, but Bad is Bad was the first time that I was able to have friends be dedicated in their roles for the entire duration of the film. So in the past, if somebody came on to hold the boom mic for a day or two and then they had to leave, that's the best I could get. But this time I had my friends Ellis, who was the sound mixer, and Adam, who was the first AC, come and stick around from day one to day 21 or whenever we finish shooting. And by shooting the most important scenes near the end of the shoot when everybody had gotten their experience up, that was another way we leveled up the production by building our own experienced crew members. Yeah. And then that takes us to Will the Machine, the most recent level up in my filmmaking career. Now the thing that made Will the Machine different is that I was working with a casting crew of professionals at the next level in their careers, where I'm working with a director of photography that just shot a show for Discovery Channel, an actor Denzel that's been in iconic movies like Training Day and Black Panther. I've worked with the colorist from The Walking Dead. When we filmed in Richmond, Virginia, I was working with the best crew members I could find, the people that work on every big production that goes through the area. And I also had two experienced producers that I was working with. So they had a lot of experience making great short films and they were able to lend a guiding hand as well as their resources to elevate the film to the next level. And all of that cumulative expertise greatly improved the quality. I mean, if you look at any scene from Will the Machine compared to any scene from Bad is Bad, it's a really obvious level up. I never ran that fast before. So all this to say, if you want your films to get better quickly, you need to start working with better people to make those films. The more brilliant minds you have working on one project, the better it's going to be. And you're never going to be able to compete with that if it's just your own brilliant mind working on the film. So if you're asking, well, how do I improve my team? How do I find these people? Well, that's a whole nother video. 
But if you can find them, if you can convince them to join your project, or if you can just afford to pay them to join your project, it is an investment that's gonna pay dividends for the quality of your filmmaking. Now, if you're just starting out with filmmaking and you can't convince these more experienced people to work with you, you might wanna check out my filmmaking with no crew top tips so you can build up your own portfolio and inspire these people to join you on your next projects. And for more great filmmaking advice, find my subscribe button down there, smash it so hard it can't have kids anymore. That's right end the bloodline of my subscribe button for me.